Hello, I'm Mighty J Cosplay, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to turn from this to this. I start tracing my face using a Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in shade All Over Grey. Then I use the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in shade All Around White to draw the teeth and to mark some highlight spot on my face. I prime my lips with a thin layer of grey lipstick by mixing white and black lipsticks together. Then I fill the teeth using the Marin Paradise Paint in white. Then I fill the gum with the Marin Paradise Paint in pink and then I outline the teeth using Marin Paradise Paint in black. While I'm using a detail brush, I'm also filling most of the space between the teeth with the black body paint. Then I use the Mirren Paradise paint and silver and a lining brush to mark the highlight on the outer side of each place on the reptile's mask. Now I'm using a wider brush and fill the inside of the plates of Reptile's Mask using the Marin Paradise Paint in shade Storm Cloud. Then I add a second layer of silver body paint on the highlight lines and then I blend it with the Storm Cloud body paint slightly to get a very tight smooth gradient. Now I start shading using the Marin Paradise Paint in black. Basically, I'm starting by outlining the plates and then I blended it in a little bit to get very smooth, tight gradients that will act as shading. Basically, for the rest of the plates of Reptile's Mask, I'm doing the same process. So I did the silver highlight, then I filled the middle using the Marin Paradise Paint and Storm Cloud, then I'm outlining the plates using Black Paradise Paint, and I blend the black paint to create shadows, and I blend the silver paint to make really smooth highlights. For the plates that appear lower on the cheeks, I'm basically doing the same process. Instead here, I'm adding way less highlight and silver body paint, but instead I'm adding way more black body paint in order to create bigger shadows, because the light will reflect on the top plates and not really much on the lower plates, so that's why I'm doubling the shadow. For the metal plates on the jaw, I'm repeating the same process here. I'm putting the silver highlight way more towards my neck, toward the outside, but I'm basically doing the same process and blending both the silver body paint to do the highlight and the black body paint to create shadows. Before moving forward, I'm just filling the rest of the mouth with black body paint. For the scales, I start filling most of the area using the Marin Paradise Paint in shade Amazon Green. I'm using the Marin Paradise Paint in black in a detail brush to draw the scales, mostly by drawing hexagon. Here the paint is almost dry, I'm not adding a lot of water to get a very faint finish. Here I'm using a small brush to add just a little spot of Marin Paradise Paint in shade Brilliant Green in the middle of each individual scale.
Here I'm using the Marion Paradise Paint in Black in a detailed brush basically to outlining the scale area. Here I just quickly had some highlight marks using my white highliner. Now I start to fill the helmet. I'm mostly filling it with the Marion Paradise Paint in Storm Cloud and then I'm topping the marks of a highlight that I did with the white eyeliner using the Marion Paradise Paint in white. For the part in the middle, I fill it by mixing dark brown and light brown from the Marin Paradise paints. Then I start to blend in the white highlight with the grey and the brown of the helmet. Here I'm outlining each part of the helmet using the Marin Paradise paint in black and then I blend it just a little bit in order to create really smooth shadows. Here I'm slightly adding a line of black body paint over the white highlight basically to try to emulate the stitch of the hem of the parts of the helmet. I'm starting the eye by adding mostly the yellow of the Makeup Forever Flash Palette with just a pinch of green and then I'm topping that with lime green eyeshadow. I first add the pupil with black eyeshadow and I check it up by taking a selfie. I also use the green from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette as a highliner on the waterline. Then I'm using a darker green eyeshadow to outline the eyeball and also to fill the rest of the eye to create that kind of cat eye to get that reptilian shape. I'm basically redoing the outlining of the eye using the darker green eyeshadow and then I'm redoing it again using a black eyeshadow. And then I'll check if everything is okay by taking another selfie. I'm then kind of sealing the outline of the eye with a liquid liner. I'm filling the rest of the eye area using the green from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I'm setting all that using a green matte eyeshadow. Then I'm using grey matte eyeshadow to do the shading in the kind of crease of the drawn on eyes. For the scales, I'm first adding green shimmery eyeshadow in the middle of each scale. Then I'm using black matte eyeshadow and a lining brush to go over all those faint lines of black body paint that I did earlier. This is mostly to create a shadow. Then I'm using another brush and I smudge it a little also by adding a little pinch of that green eyeshadow. Then I'm using a pencil brush and grey matte eyeshadow to shade the outside of the eye area. Then I'm adding highlight in the middle of each scale using the MAC pigments in shade Chartreuse. For the teeth, I'm basically setting them using white eyeshadow, I'm shading them with grey eyeshadow, I'm outlining them using black eyeshadow, and I'm setting the gums using pink eyeshadow. For the metal plates, I start topping all the highlighted parts using a light silver eyeshadow. I'm then setting the rest of the metal plates using a darker silver eyeshadow, and I'm carefully blending them. Then I'm using a black matte eyeshadow and a liner brush to outline the metal plates and to smudge it a little to create shading. Then I'm using a liquid silver eyeliner to top all the parts where we added some silver body paint in order to enhance the highlight at the edge of each plate. 
For the helmet, I'm setting it off using gray and brown eyeshadows, then I'm adding some shading with a pencil brush and gray matte eyeshadow, then I'm using black eyeshadow and a liner brush to do some outlining, and I smudge it a little to create more shade, then I'm using a white highlighter in the middle of each part to kind of recreate a letter effect. Then I stamp some black eyeshadow using a liner brush to kind of recreate the stitches in the fabric. And this is the final result. So I did a cosplay face paint of Reptile from the game Mortal Kombat. So I hope you really enjoyed the video. If so, please feel free to give a like and subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye!